Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about something really fascinating. How your feet can actually give you clues about the health of your liver. I know, it sounds a bit strange at first, but trust me, there's a real connection here. Now before we dive in, I want to make one thing crystal clear. I'm not saying you can definitively diagnose liver disease just by looking at your feet. If you suspect you have a serious liver problem, you absolutely need to go see your doctor and get proper testing done. But what we're going to cover today are some potential red flags that could indicate an issue with your liver that's worth getting checked out. Think of it like an early warning system for your body. So let's jump right in. The first thing to look out for are little red or brown dots that can show up on your feet and lower legs. They might be tiny or a bit bigger, and sometimes they can even have a shiny appearance to them. If you spot these, it could be a sign of poor circulation, which often goes hand in hand with liver problems. Why is that? Well, your liver plays a huge role in your circulatory system. It's responsible for filtering your blood and keeping it flowing smoothly. When your liver isn't working right, it can lead to all sorts of issues with blood flow, especially in your extremities like your feet, since they're the farthest away from your heart. That's why these little discolored dots often pop up down there. They're like a distress signal from your body saying, hey, something's not quite right here. Now it's important to note that circulation problems in your feet can also be caused by other health conditions like diabetes. But in many cases, liver dysfunction is the culprit. So if you're noticing these dots appearing, it's definitely worth mentioning to your doctor so they can run some tests and get to the bottom of what's going on. Another thing to watch out for are spider veins, which are sometimes called spider nevus. These are those little clusters of twisted bluish veins that can show up on your skin, often on your lower legs and feet. While they're usually harmless on their own, if you have liver damage from something like cirrhosis, you tend to get a buildup of estrogen in your system. And that excess estrogen can make you more prone to getting spider veins and varicose veins. So if you're suddenly noticing a bunch of these popping up out of nowhere, and especially if they're accompanied by some of the other symptoms we're talking about, it could be a sign that your liver isn't doing its job of keeping your hormone levels balanced the way it should be. Okay, next up, let's talk about cracked heels. I'm sure we've all had them from time to time and they're no fun. But did you know that chronic severe cracking on your heels can sometimes point to a deficiency in vitamin B3 or omega-3 fatty acids? Here's why that matters when it comes to your liver. One of your liver's most important jobs is producing bile, which your body needs to break down and absorb fats and fat-soluble vitamins like vitamin A, D, E, and K. If your liver isn't churning out enough bile, or if the bile ducts are blocked for some reason, your body can start to have trouble absorbing these crucial nutrients. And when you're not getting enough vitamin B3 or omega-3s, it can take a toll on your skin health, leading to issues like cracked heels. Vitamin B3 deficiency is actually a condition called pellagra, and one of its classic symptoms is skin inflammation and cracking, especially on areas like your feet that take a lot of wear and tear. So if you've been slathering on moisturizer but just can't seem to get rid of those deep, painful cracks, it's worth asking your doctor to check your vitamin and fatty acid levels, as well as your liver function. Now what about itching? Believe it or not, having persistently itchy feet can sometimes be a red flag for liver problems. Conditions like hepatitis can cause a backup of bile and other fluids in your liver, leading to a buildup of histamines in your body. And where do those histamines often show up? You guessed it, in your feet. That itchiness can be maddening, and scratching often just makes it worse. You might also notice some swelling, pain, or a burning sensation along with the itching, especially on the soles of your feet. A lot of people assume this is something like athlete's foot or plantar fasciitis, but in reality, it could be your liver crying out for help. The same goes for a condition called hot feet, where your feet feel like they're burning up for no apparent reason. This is another classic sign of liver dysfunction. Your liver is responsible for detoxifying your body, and when it's not working properly, 
All sorts of toxins and waste products can start to build up and circulate through your system. That buildup can cause inflammation, and one place it often shows up is in your feet. So if you're constantly feeling like you're walking on hot coals, even when you're just sitting still, it's time to get your liver checked out. Another warning sign to watch for is smelly feet. I know, nobody likes to talk about foot odor, but if your feet are consistently stinking up the room no matter how much you wash them, it could be a clue that your liver isn't detoxifying your body the way it should be. See, when your liver is overwhelmed with toxins, your body will start trying to eliminate them in other ways. And one of those ways is through your sweat glands. Your feet have a ton of sweat glands. So if your liver is backed up, all those toxins can come oozing out through your feet, leading to some pretty funky smells. And here's the thing. It's not just your liver that can be affected. If your liver is in bad shape, chances are your kidneys and colon are probably struggling too. It's all connected. So smelly feet can be a sign of a larger problem with your body's detoxification system as a whole. Okay, we've covered a lot of ground here, but I want to touch on one more important symptom. Swelling in your feet and ankles, also known as edema. If you press your finger into your skin and it leaves a little dent that stays there for a while, that's a classic sign of fluid retention, and it's often linked to liver problems. Conditions like cirrhosis, hepatitis, and fatty liver disease can all cause fluid to build up in your tissues, and gravity pulls that fluid downward, so it tends to pool in your lower extremities. If you're noticing persistent swelling in your feet, ankles, or legs, especially if it's accompanied by other symptoms, like fatigue, abdominal pain, or yellowing of your skin and eyes, it's crucial to get your liver function tested right away. So, what can you do to keep your liver healthy and avoid these kinds of problems? Well, there are a few key things. First, be mindful of your medication use. A lot of common drugs can be tough on your liver if used long-term or in high doses, so always follow your doctor's instructions carefully and don't take more than prescribed. Second, watch your sugar intake, especially when it comes to high fructose corn syrup. Your liver has to process all that sugar, and over time, it can lead to inflammation and even scarring of your liver tissue. Third, make sure you're eating plenty of fresh, raw fruits and vegetables. These are packed with antioxidants and enzymes that help support your liver function. If you're relying mostly on processed, packaged foods, your liver is going to have a much harder time keeping up. Fourth, go easy on the alcohol. I know, I know, it's easier said than done for a lot of people, but the reality is, excessive drinking is one of the fastest ways to damage your liver. If you're having more than a couple drinks a day on a regular basis, it's really important to cut back for the sake of your liver health. And finally, don't overdo it on the protein. A lot of people think they need to be eating tons of protein to be healthy, but the truth is, your body can only process so much at a time. When you eat more protein than your body needs, it creates a lot of nitrogen waste that your liver has to filter out. And over time, that extra strain can lead to liver damage. So the bottom line is, if you're dealing with any kind of liver issue, you wanna focus on eating plenty of fresh veggies, and go a bit lighter on the protein until your liver has a chance to heal. Before we wrap up, I wanna ask a quick favor. If you found this video valuable, please hit that like button and share it with anyone you think could benefit from this information. And if you wanna see more content like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Your support means the world to me, and it helps me keep creating videos that can make a real difference in people's health and lives. I know this was a lot of information to take in, but I hope it helps you understand just how important your liver really is and how paying attention to your feet can give you valuable insights into your liver health. If you're concerned about your liver or experiencing any of the symptoms we talked about, Please don't hesitate to talk to your doctor. 
The earlier you catch liver problems, the easier they are to treat. And as always, if you have any questions or topics you'd like me to cover in future videos, leave them in the comments below. I read every single one, and I'm always looking for new ways to help you optimize your well-being. Until next time, take care of yourself. And don't forget to show your liver some love. Thanks for watching.